Hi there everybody and happy National Card Making Day. And what a perfect day to make cards because I'm a little bit behind and I need to send out the thank you cards for all the people that ordered from me in the month of September. And I was sitting here making my cards, I thought I should show you a card on National Card Making Day, right? So let me tell you what I did. I, I'm, like I said, I need quick cards because I'm a little bit behind. So I chose the Peaceful Moments stamp set. This is one of my favorite thank yous right here. So I'm gonna use that stamp. And then I did use the um, Painted Labels dies, just this one right here. And I cut a piece of Mary Malo right from that die right there. And then like I said, I wanted it quick. So I looked and I found these um, gold cards and envelopes already cut, scored, and ready for me to go. So they look like this. And then the envelopes are really pretty. They're this blush gold. And I thought, perfect. Well, perfect because it's already done for me. And if Stampin' Up's gonna do the work, that's just gonna make my job of getting my thank you cards out all the easier, right? So then when I saw this really pretty gold um, edging around the card, it made me think of this. And what is this called? This is the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. And let me show you what it looks like. So this is the sheet I used. I used a bunch of these, but let me show you. You get three of each sheet. So it looks like this. Look at all those pretty laser cut pieces. Let me try to get the glare off of there. But you have several that could make a really pretty fast card. And like I said, you get three sheets of those. And let me show you the other sheets in here. And then these are like, ooh, they almost fell apart. Pretty, pretty card fronts. So you could use those. But in today's card, like I said, I used that first sheet. And let me show you what I did. So I have my card base here. And I took just a couple pieces of that gold laser cut. I guess I don't know the pieces out. And I'm going to just take a little bit of liquid glue and just dab on the back here. And now I used one that's pretty fine cut and one that's pretty solid to give it a um, nice pretty, but look how pretty that piece is on there. Already the card's beautiful. I wouldn't have to do anything else. And then I put it, like I said, a little bit solid, more solid cut, not quite so delicate cut. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of him and maybe put him, what do you think, right there? Now look how pretty, whoop, it didn't stick. Look how pretty that is. Make sure he's on there, there we go. Then I have a scrap here of very vanilla cardstock, and look, I got ink on that side, so I'm gonna use this side. And some Mary Malo ink, my trusty little stamp here, my thank you stamp. I like to hold the stamp down for a little while, let that ink sink into the paper. There we go. And then, I think this is the Taylor Punch, the classic punch. I don't know, I call it the, the Manly Punch, and I'm not sure why. But then I punch out my um, thank you right here. And then just with that same liquid glue, a little bit on the back. And <clears throat> then I drop it. I didn't get glue anywhere, so I'm lucky it landed the right way. But then um, just set this down on my die cut piece. And with that liquid glue, you can make sure that you have it straight, maybe move it around for a little bit after you've laid it down. I think that looks good. And then last but not least, a couple dimensionals. Well, I like to use three so my tummy doesn't sag there. Whoop, not four. Okay, and take off those release papers. And then bring in my card base and I'm gonna set my thank you. I'm trying to get it straight, but I think it looks good right there. And then the bone folder, the card stock's already scored for you. Here's my bone folder. And just get that crisp edge and look how pretty that thank you card is. Isn't that not beautiful? Let me show you some of the other ones that I've already made using the same things. There's the one that's like the little wreath really pretty 
here's another one and another one and another one and another one so look how many cards I've made out of that one sheet of that specialty paper and I'm still not done I can keep going and so you know these gold cards and envelopes they have 10 in a pack so I'll probably be making all 10 of them well maybe some more I'll have to see how many I need for my thank you cards but there you go so I hope you'll take advantage too of National Card Making Day and make a card and then be sure and post it here on our Embossing Buddies group so we can all share what we came up with today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.